What's going on guys, back at you again. And let's go over this rigged and scripted week 18. And let's see what happens. Oh, this is the kickoff it looks like. So let's talk about this. Uh, hold on one second. Let me just make sure. Oh, it's flipped around. I have to return this. All right, now we're good. So this is the kickoff. Let's see how this plays out. This is first of the two. He's returning that pretty deep too. He's two yards deep. Let's see what happens here. Look at this. Everyone's bunched together. We got we got a bunch of people here, another bunch there, and then we got another bunch here. So we got three bunches of people in a row. So he's just gonna run right through the lane. I'm literally right up there. Huge alley because no one's in their lanes. So you mean to tell me the New England Patriots don't know how to cover their lanes? Sure. What, what kind of a tackle attempt was that? Dude right there jumps to the ground. Look at this. Right here. This dude just jumps at nothing. And then watch this guy. Why couldn't you just hold him until other people got there? He didn't want to, that's why. Look at this idiot. Why can't he make this tackle? He didn't want to. And then falls on his face. He wasn't trying to make that tackle, guys. That's a rigged and scripted play. This guy's already raising his hand. Look at this. Ridiculous. But people think this stuff is real. Sure. Whatever you say. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, this is that one-handed magnet cash that we spoke about. This is that Kenny Galladay one-handed magnet cash. Nine yards off the ball. Doesn't pressure him at all. And that's what happens. Alright, next play. Why are they leaving the whole middle open? They're passing, luckily. DB's running without turning his head, and that's what happens. Runs by the, the uh, offense. First of all, why are you... Look at his technique, guys. He turns... Uh, actually, he's alright, but then he turns around again. If you were going to turn that way, why not play that way to begin with? He literally just spun around. He was in a shuffle run and then went into man coverage technique. Is that a crash? Did 52 just crash inside? Yep. We got a crash inside, buddy. They're not trying to get there. Why would the Texans even try to win this game? Like, I find that to be ridiculous. And then this, look at this guy, he just throws it right at the defender. Here, take it. He had no business throwing that. He should have just taken the sack. I'm still a little under the weather, guys. Hopefully, I'll start feeling better. Alright, next play. He goes inside, guys. This guy crashes inside instead of going outside. If he goes outside, he makes the play. He chose to go inside and gives Josh Allen all the time in the world. And look at him, he's not even chasing after him. That's an easy touchdown. Now let's see number 15 on the ball. I think this is him right there. Or this is him. Yeah, that's him. Like the Pats aren't even playing defense right now. Jogging, 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 standing. The whole D line was just either jogging or standing. Now two guys are just getting burned. 32 is the safety guy. Just keep that in mind. So as a safety, I don't know what he's doing next to a cornerback. Like, I wish we could see the behind view. I want to know what 32 did. Because 32 has been playing safety for New England for over 12 years. So he knows what he's doing. So the fact that he's doing this shows you it's rigged. He told me a 12 year style doesn't know what to do. Okay. They're not going to show us another angle, I have a feeling. Yeah, they're not. Play action. He's not even rushing. He's being held as well. I don't know what he was doing, though. 
Oh, this is the catch, isn't it? Yeah, this is that PI catch. What does this guy do? He crashes inside. But where's my D tackle? Oh, he leaves his gap and goes back. He pushed back three yards because he turned his shoulders. Why not just go straight, cause a pile? He moves left. Now the running back goes right to where he was supposed to be. Look, he runs right into his lane. That's where he was. That's where he's supposed to be, but he's no longer there because he's over here. Where he's there. He's one of those two guys. Point is, he didn't do his job. Didn't resist. Just let the guy push him back. Look at him. That's him right there. He's supposed to be in that gap the guy just ran through. Alright, next play. <clears throat> Alright, so where's my end up here? The colors, the colors are way too close together. Yeah, I knew something weird was gonna happen. So where's my backside end? What does this guy do? Because he should be stopping this play. He runs inside, guys. This, he ain't supposed to be doing this. 56 is supposed to be coming outside contain. 56 should be coming outside contain. Blowing this play up, guys. Where's 56 at? I think he did the late hit on him. Wow, he actually caught that. That's, oh, yeah, that's AJ Green. That's all day. AJ Green, that's the new age Randy Moss, or he used to be. This is, this is what Kyler Murray should have been doing in the last three years, but he never does it. It's like, you have this type of athlete, he's 6'5", he just does that to people, and you just never give him a chance. I'm telling you, Kyler Murray never gives A.J. Green a chance. If you were to ask A.J. Green if he likes playing with Kyler Murray, he's saying, hell to the no. He's saying that he doesn't use me the correct way. I bet you he says that. Because look at A.J. Green, he's, look at what he's doing still. You're telling me he doesn't have it still? <laughs> I know it's rigged and scripted. I know dudes aren't really tackling. Like, look at this. Like, what is this guy doing? Grabbing his arm? Like, why aren't you going for his legs? That dude, I don't know what that was. I don't know what this was. And then this guy, I don't know what this was. Like, what was that? And then this guy just grabs at his arm. Like, what is that going to do? How is grabbing his arm going to do it? It's all sweaty. He's going to pull off and you're going to slip right off. Like, grabbing his arm is the worst thing you can do. They always coach you to stay away from those sweaty arms because you're just going to go like this and slide right down. That's all that happens. All right, now, crashes inside. Oh, they did a twist. He crashes in, this guy will run around. They did a twist. And then this gets in his face. He waits, he waits, he holds it, holds it, throws it. Wide open. Go figure. How does number 17 get this open, guys? Let's pause it right here. What's this guy doing? What is he doing, guys? <laughs> what, like, really, though, what is he doing? Besides letting him run by him and doing nothing to stop it. Can he get there? Took a, eh, his angle kind of was eh, but he got lucky. All right, so next play. So they're running right up the middle, guys. Let's see what these two guys do. It was this guy. He hesitated. So this guy never really comes up right here. This guy, look at him. What is he doing? This guy never shows any aggression, never tries to come up at all. He just sits there. Of course. Oh, but then they fumble in anyway. How about them apples? How convenient is that? They got lucky because he tried to reach in and get in, but they slapped up the ball. As a running back, he's kind of stupid for that. There's too many guys he's showing the ball. You just got to jump in and protect the ball and at that point because it's too risky. It's just too risky. He knows it. We all know it. Everyone knows it. That was just too risky to be doing that. All right, so where's my D-tackle? He ran right up the middle. Oh, they spread open. How about that? So this guy goes this way and this guy goes up. So either way, it's going to be open in the middle. That's all that is. Now, what does the 48 do? It's blocked. So, yeah, he just runs right off. What is this guy doing? What is 49 doing? Look at him. 49, where are you going? Where's 49 going? What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, 49. What a disappointment. What is 49 doing, guys? That's, that was terrible. If we're being honest, that was terrible. Oh, I actually like this play design. Let's see what this end does. Outside backer and crashes in a little too much. I don't think he's going to be able to get outside. Yeah, 99, what are you doing, bro? See, 99 should be on the outside of his shoulder. 99, get outside, get outside, get outside. He doesn't, though. And then look at him jogging, taking an angle. It's terrible, guys. That, that's just terrible. Huh? What just happened? There's no way. Was he still in bounds? How the hell is he still in bounds here? I'm, not, I'm actually confused by this. I, don't, I can't tell if he went out of bounds there. I, like, I can't make that decision from that view. So I guess it was a touchdown. Alright, next play. Oh, they got him. They got him. Yeah, they got him with that play. That was a big time play, man. This is a damn good play design. DN runs out and does the right thing. Takes a terrible angle, though. And then why does he not keep running? What is he doing? Where's my safety? There should be a safety running up the alley. There he is. Where's he going? Where's my safety? Make the tackle. Doesn't. Runs into the block. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's so fake. This isn't real football. I'm sorry. That safety ran up the alley. Right, actually, he jogged up the alley and just absorbed the block. Didn't try to rip through. Didn't bring any aggression. Nothing. This is just sitting in between four guys that are not trying to play their zones. That's all that is. Oh, and they can't tackle too, apparently. So he throws it in between four guys and no one can make this tackle. I went to the next play thinking that they'd get that guy, but wow. The NFL is just that future, I guess. How is this guy up when there was four guys that, mm, all right. I don't know, man. But then that's what gets him down right there. That he trips on his own feet, but four guys can't get him down. All right. Where's my end at? He crashes inside, guys. What are you doing? Go outside. See, he goes outside again anyway. Why not start that way where you're supposed to do? Took the inside route. He's not going to be able to get there, guys. If he went outside, he makes the sack. He makes the sack. He's got that Pat McAfee number on. I don't know what he's crashing is. Oh, they do a twist. Alright. Right down the scene. How well? 84. Let's see if he gets bumped. Nope. Free release. Free release. Everywhere. Free release. Right down the scene. A free release right down the scene. Imagine having a tight end in a football game run down the scene and a linebacker doesn't hit him. Like, in, like that doesn't happen in football. You don't free release guys. Uh, you're taught at a very young age to bump receivers that are running in your zone. Like, so, like, I just, I'm waiting for someone to defend this nonsense. All right. Standard pocket. Throws a pick, though, guys. This was never open. He threw his late. Like, right, he should have already thrown it. All right, let's talk about when he should have thrown this thing. So right now, throw it. Right now, you gotta release it. Throw it right now. And then that ball will arrive. But now he throws it and the guy's already jumping it, guys. Like look, this guy's already jumping it, look at him. He's jumping it. And the quarterback is throwing it late. But we say this stuff is real? Like how? How is that real football? Like, an NFL quarterback knows that you can't throw a hitch route in the middle of the field late when there's four guys there, man. 
So this is this is part of the Texans. The Texans are trying to lose this game now. When you think about it, they're up too many points, so they need to get that number one pick. But I mean, what I said yesterday though, because they know the Bears don't need a quarterback. So if the Bears get the number one pick, I don't think they're stressing that much because the Bears aren't going to pick a quarterback. And I think we're pretty certain about that. But the Texans need one, so I guess the number one pick isn't that. Uh, important for them because they're going to get their quarterback no matter what. I don't even know if there's any good ones this year. I don't really watch college like that. Uh, so, how did... I'm 10 yards off the ball, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is make-believe football, man. No aggression, no bumps, free releases. Like, it's basically like 7 on 7. With pads. He goes too far outside. Whoa. This guy, at some point, you gotta hold your ground. He goes, keeps going, he keeps going. Like, what are you doing, 95? Hold your ground. Hold your ground. Hold your ground. One, any of these five people hold your ground. You're just driving down the field. Like, that dude's not that much stronger than you. Oh, my God. It's hard to watch. All right, next play. So they bring five. Let's see our right tackle not block. Doesn't kick back. He goes right into a shuffle. 75 looking right into a shuffle. Doesn't kick back. He gets no depth. That's what happens. You want to just shuffle when no one tells you to do that ever. That, that was just a lucky touchdown, honestly. Like, let's be honest. This dude didn't even block the guy. And they get this. Okay. Sure. I'm not going to look too much into that one. Ball stop. <laughs> I think we all saw that one. Look at this. This one was a bad one. No call. Because they're letting the Steelers get a big play. Most likely. Whenever. I mean, that's a P.I., but he caught it anyway somehow. But whenever they don't call it, you blatant false start, guys, you know they're giving a play up. Goes inside, guys. Oh my gosh. 90, 91, go outside this block. Go outside this block. I and mean, then he can make the play, but he goes inside. Look at him. Freaking idiot, man. These guys aren't trying to play properly. Wide open. They got Jared Goff looking like the second coming of insert whoever's name. It's crazy. Goff would look better than Rodgers this game, let's be honest. Right up the middle. Oh, this is the interception. This was the interception that he just threw up. I would have just gone right there. What is it, third and ten? Yeah, this is just not a good throw, man. Even there, there, like anywhere but here. Like, he just floated it up, man. This is a glorified punt. But people will defend that. Oh, man, he didn't know where to go. He had pressure in his face. Oh, my God. He's like eight yards off. Look at him. Eight yards off and he still gets beat deep. Like, imagine that. All right, so you saw his leverage. How are you getting beat when you started off 10 yards in front of him? Now he's just getting beat. Okay. All right, so next play. See, like, if you were covering him like this, then I understand getting beat. But if you're back here and he's over here, like, how are you going to beat? This guy's doing it too. He's 10 yards off. Let's see if he gets beat. Wide, in, wide open guy right there. It's fourth and 12, though. Wow, it happened again, guys. How does this happen? Number 13. Can't really tell which one he is. But imagine getting... Oh, well, they're in cover two, though. Look at this corner. He's shallow. They're in cover two, and it goes right behind where the corner should really be. He's jogging. Safety can't get there. All right, next 
explain. You do a leak twist, no pressure at all. Yeah, they just wanted Russell to win this one. So why couldn't they do this all year? Now all of a sudden they're able to do this. That's what I don't get. I don't know where he was standing at. It's hard to say. Is that, what number is that? Is that 86? Yeah, all right. Where was this offense all year, man? Oh my god. Alright, let's see if he even jams. So he's one of the fastest guys in the league. Not jamming. 10 yards off almost. About 10 yards. And still gets beat. Man, I don't get that. Like, I'll never understand that. How are you 10 yards off and he still gets behind you? It happens every time. If you're 10 yards off, it's because you don't want to get beat. And you get beat anyway. That's why it just makes no sense. The Dallas Cowboys just came out and just did whatever they wanted. Crashes inside. Look at him. What are you doing, bro? You know you're not supposed to be doing that. Oh, this is, they did the same play two times in a row. I hate when they do that. Wide open, but it's first and 10. Oh, he goes for the shot. Let's see if they bump it. Nope. Seven yards off, backpedaling, and turns the hips. Runs right by him. gave this game up. I think they were just trying to get a better draft pick. Like, they wanted to play a good game, but not win, because they want their draft pick. Because them winning this game hurts them. It doesn't help them. But actually, they don't even have a first round pick, but they have a second round pick, so that'll help. They need to trade Ramsey, honestly. Dude is 10 yards off. I don't know, 10 yards off, almost. Get beat. It happens to everyone. I don't get it. Literally, it happens to everyone. Gets beat and he was 10 yards off. Alright. Let's see if they form this pocket. Looks like a wide nine. Both ends standing up. What are we doing, boy? What are we doing? Let's him right through while holding him. Imagine holding a guy and still not being able to block him. They didn't call it, though. Because they want the Broncos to win this game. So how is it that Russell's able to play like this now? But all year, we've been waiting for this. So could it be that they just didn't want him to have a good year? Because it, like, this doesn't just happen where like all year you look awful and then all of a sudden you look good. Unless we're saying it was all the coach just not knowing how to use him. If you're going to say that, then maybe. Where's my end at? Outside backer end. They both should be making this play. They go inside to go back outside and they should have been there anyway. That's what happens. No edge, no chance. Because you're ending the outside backer and went inside. They never contained. Yeah, we're almost done here. It's gonna maybe 10 more plays. False start. Watch this guy false start. It's not gonna matter though, because they want the Niners to score. Touchdown. I bet you he got free released. I'm not going to go back and look. I know he got three reviews. That's what they did, man. So, look at this. No reroutes. No reroutes anywhere. 
Just run down and run your route. Do whatever you want. Because I'm going to let you do it. Because it's the NFL. Oh, yeah. This is the play. Guys, they ran this play literally a play before. And the cornerback dropped the pick. And then they ran the same exact play again, guys. Because it was scripted. He was supposed to pick it the last time. And now Dak throws it slow, late, and inside so he can pick it off. That wasn't an NFL throw. That was just Dak giving it up. Look, I mean, he's not even, like, he had to give that up, guys. Saw that one. Who's actually buying that? Whoa, where's my edge player? Where did he go? Oh, he crashed inside. How about that? No edge, no chance. What is 52 doing? We just learned Cam Akers look like he's a good running back? Are we really making Cam Akers look like he's a good running back? Oh my god. Motion. Playing the zone. Play action. Doesn't go outside contain. Stays inside. No pressure at all. So this can't be good for them. Wide open. Pick. He just needed just a little bit more on that, man. He was open. He almost didn't fully step into this guy. Look at him throw this. Let's look at his feet. Let's see if he actually threw this with all his heart. Ah, I don't know, man. I didn't see a, I didn't see that step up forward. Like, I just don't like the way he threw this, man. I don't think he threw this with all his heart. Look at it. Step up. You see a little bit. Yeah, he doesn't do the back step to get the leg strength. So yeah, he wasn't trying to throw this properly. Because what should happen here? Whoops. I don't know why it's not stopping. So yeah, this front foot should step up and then this back foot should step back so you can get some strength on the back end of this throw. He never steps back with this foot. You're gonna notice. See, he never steps back. So he's not making a deep throw here. He's just throwing it like it's a 10 yard pass. But you gotta get that leg strength in the back to get it deep. Otherwise, that happens. You're not going to have enough air under it. I wasn't able to see that during the game because it was just going too fast. But now, it's easy to see. He wasn't really trying to throw that properly. Whoa, this is just a QB draw. They draw him out. Center on no one. Right up the middle. That's terrible, honestly. Yeah, that... This guy, they're in man. They caught him in man. So the quarterback basically, now they're playing 11 on 10 because the quarterback is now a player. You know what I mean? When he runs the ball. So this puts him in a bind. So if they're going to motion him out, these safeties need to walk up. This guy should be here. This guy should be here. Because this guy is gone. So there's no middle backer if they're pulling him out. And you know he's a runner. So... If you run up the middle, no one's going to get there. And that's exactly what happens. Watch, see? These two guys, if they were what I said, they would have had the tackle around here. And it would have been fourth down. But now it's a touchdown. Little things, guys. Little things like that make a huge difference. If they were standing at the yellow line, like I said, they stop them, and it's fourth and four, and they got kicked. But now they score the touchdown, right? And it makes it 10 to 19 instead of 10 to 6. Or excuse me, 19 to 6. Uh, Alright, this guy just takes himself out of the play. I don't know who would ever do that. Basically, should, he should have actually been back here. He should have seen this screen. This guy should have seen this coming. Screen, 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 turn around and pick that off, honestly. He's not trying to, though. That's not how the NFL works. You gotta follow a script, man. Follow a script or we be rid you. And this literally could have been stopped in the backfield, but nope. We're gonna let Christian McCaffrey run Scott free in the end zone. Alright, a few more plays here. False stop. Where's my backside end at? Oh, he crashes inside. How about that? What, who told you to do that, Micah Parsons? You told, did you tell you to do this? 
Like, he has a straight D to the quarterback. Take that outside. Now you're bunched up on everyone. You get blocked. McLaurin has a safety on him for some reason. Touchdown. Because you have a safety on one of the fastest guys in the league. Terrible game planning. Wow, Gino, you know better than this Gino. Or does he? Oh, this is early in the game, so yeah, this is the beginning of the game. Gives it right to Ramsey. Just to make Ramsey look like he's slightly good. But Ramsey is not that good, guys. Well, you better be able to catch that and throw it right to me. Alright, a few more plays here. Oh, it's 4th and 20. Oh, this is that Hail Mary, isn't it? Yeah, this is that stupid fake ass Hail Mary. Off his back foot, with pressure in his face. And then look at, come on guys. And then let's look at this defender, right here. This guy, I know it's hard to see from this angle, but if they show north-south view, you're gonna see, instead of going like this with his hands, he goes like this to let the ball go through his hands because he wasn't really trying to stop the play. That's all it is, look at him. There's no reason why he can't make this play, guys, at all. 25, was that all your heart right there trying to stop that? That's what I wanna know, he knows it wasn't. He could've just batted it down. He didn't even have to like really make a play on it. That's the sad part about it all. He could've just batted it down. Now they probably showed a two-point conversion or that might've been the last play. I don't know, this is the Aaron Rodgers, what is this, the INT? I don't know, not yet, this is something else. He just floats it on up. So why didn't he do that on that freaking third down play instead of throwing that pick? Like you got guys that can go up and get it like that and you're just throwing it up to the defense? Whatever guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And join me for the playoffs. Thank you.